Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just sitting here playing around tonight, and I started playing around with Object of Path, and I almost certain Object of Path started in 2018, Corel version. You know, now we're at 2021, and actually 20, it's actually the 23rd vision, but X8, I'm pretty sure Object of Path started. So we're going to go to Object and Object to Path, the other day I helped somebody build a brick wall over an arch and this may may or may not would have helped them. These are two separate groups. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and then I'm gonna select my path. So I've got the three objects selected. Pretty important to have the origin at the bottom and I'm putting in 40 number of objects and I'm gonna hit apply. Now, that's pretty cool. Now I put it at the bottom of the arch Let's change our object origin to the top and see what it does now. Now it put it where I really wanted it. It's kind of uh, a little backwards from what I would think. There's my red line. And if you see they're spread out and they're actually got a little bit of a tilt between the mortar, the bricks are straight, but the mortar itself is not. And I'm pretty sure we have to go to ungroup to get my red line away so we can't whenever you can't grab something I always found make sure your nudge factor is pretty high and then nudge that out of the way and then then you can grab it looks like I can't grab it yet yeah, it did then you can just nudge that right back by hitting the down arrow key and the up arrow key how would you put mortar between here you know fill in the gap and leave it like that I'm going to grab it like that and I'm going to go to my boundary tool and the boundary tool is going to put a boundary all the all around all the bricks but if we go to object you no know, go to effect contour and let's contour just to the outside oh that's pretty big so let's go one inch see what happens and that's too big and we're actually going to use square corners on this let's go 0.5 it doesn't really matter well, yeah, it does matter. Let's let's do it just the amount of the mortar. So let's see about what this space is here. We'll get like an average, like right there. That's a, less than a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna hit the, uh, we're gonna go 0.25. And now we've got a border. And then, that's actually a little bit too much. Let's go point, point 0.2. See what happens, that looks better. Now, if we wanted to mortar in and have the mortar, we would just take our Smart Fill tool, set on whatever color you're gonna use, let's zoom in a little bit, and then you have mortar in your bricks, and you can move that down and your wireframe is still there. That's pretty cool, object to path. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.